Have you ever been sat in a hotel room or an apartment somewhere on holiday or on a work trip or any reason that you're away from home with your guitar but wishing you had access to all of your favorite tones? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. As you can see from my background, I'm not actually in my studio. I'm actually in an apartment right now attending the British Boutique Guitar Festival that my buddy CGS put on. But I thought this would be a really great opportunity to basically build a portable studio on the road and talk about this thing. So this is the iRig HD2 from IK Multimedia. Now you guys will have seen me do a bunch of stuff with IK Multimedia talking about Amplitube and some of their X gear pedals. The iRig HD is an iOS interface. So this is basically designed to plug into my iPhone which allows me to use the iOS version of Amplitube. Now this isn't just iPhone compatible, it also works with your iPad as well, but you can also use this as a laptop interface. So if you've got your laptop with you, you can actually use this as a mobile audio interface. So as you can see on the table here, I've got my iRig set up and my phone, which is currently running the mobile version of Amplitube. Now I'm recording this directly out of my phone, so all the processing is happening in the phone. It's going via the iRig. I'm monitoring this via my in-ear monitors, so I'm not even playing with any speakers in the room. And then the iRig is running out into my Tascam SD card recorder. So it's like a sort of hard disk recorder that I just take with me for capturing ideas, but it's really useful for recording things like this as well. So basically I can record guitar tracks now straight to an SD card. I've got my PRS S2 Studio with me, which is just one of my most versatile guitars. This tends to come with me whenever I'm away for a few days, just in case I need a guitar to play for any work-related purposes. But I thought this would be a great excuse to talk about the iRig because right now I'm away from home and I wanna see if I can get some really good tones without being near any of my usual gear. So all I've got is my guitar, my iRig, and my phone. Now, obviously you don't have to record this. You could literally just be using this for practice purposes, but the mobile version of Amplitude does have a built-in guitar recorder. So you could lay down some ideas in there, or you can do what I'm doing and run out of the output of the iRig into another interface that's going into your laptop or a sort of SD card recorder like I'm using today. So if you're unfamiliar with Amplitude, it's basically a plugin that you would use for your computer. You would run it up in your DAW and it emulates all of your favorite classic amps, cabinets, you know, microphones, pedals, everything, you name it, you can pretty much dial in any tone. I did a video about two years ago now on Amplitude 5 when that first launched, so you can check that out, the link will be in the top corner. But now we're gonna talk about the mobile version. So this is not a paid video, I'm not getting paid for this video, but my friends at IK Multimedia did give me the iRig HD last year in the 2021 42 Gear Street, they gave me the iRig to check out and I'm now bringing it away with me quite a lot. I use it a lot on the road, but I thought this would be a really great opportunity to talk about it and show you guys how you can actually get a bunch of cool tones anywhere you are. So I'm gonna show you first what Amplitude looks like for mobile. So you can see on my phone here, I've got the Amplitude loaded up. We've got a couple of different tabs along the top. So we've got stomp mode. This is where we insert different pedals into the chain. So you can see we've got a huge range of pedals on offer here. We can filter by brand, in which case you get Amplitude's own pedals, Fender's pedals, full tone. We've got T-Rex, we've got a Slash signature set. We've got the Jimi Hendrix set. We've got some Wampler pedals, we've got some Boss pedals. There's a bunch of stuff in there. We've also got type, and these are filtered then by effect type. So we've got pitch, other, we've got filter, EQ, dynamics, delay, modulation, fuzz, and distortion. So in this video, I'm not gonna go over every single model in here because there's quite a lot of them. I just wanna give you a quick overview of how you can get some great guitar tones when you're not at home. But if you do want me to do a full in-depth rundown of Amplitude for mobile, let me know down below in the comments. So we've also got amps. So I've already got a Marshall style amp loaded up here, but if we go to this mode, we've once again got a bunch of different amps. So we've got brand and type, so we've got Amplitude's own pack. We've got a Fender pack, which has a bunch of amps in there. We have another Fender pack there. There's a Mesa Boogie pack. There's an Orange pack. There's an Engel pack. There's a bunch in there. And then obviously Type, we've got them by Crunch, High Gain, Bass. We've even got some Bass amps in there and Clean amps. 
we've also got a bunch of different speaker cab options. Now we can change the microphones on this, but we can also change the placement. So this hemp has a 57 and an 87 on there, but I can actually just click and drag that around. So if I want those mics positioned slightly differently, I can do that. I can hit this at the top then to bring up my cab types. So I've got four by 12s, I've got Fender one by 15 cabs, I've got two by 12s, pretty much any cab combination you can think of. And the same thing goes for microphones. I've got a 57, uh, 160, and 84. We can pretty much use all of the classic mic tones on that as well. And you've also, by this tab up here, you've got some post effects. So some stuff you can stick in the loop. There's some noise gates, there's some reverbs, some delays, all the usual stuff you'd expect to put into the loop of an amp. So I'm just gonna set up a really basic signal chain here. So I'm gonna use a 59 basement. And I'm gonna double click that to go into the screen. And this is gonna bring up this mode. Now the amp, because obviously we're working on a mobile here, we can't fit everything onto the screen. So the only thing you can see there is the tone control. So if I wanna see the other controls, I just need to swipe the screen like so. Now obviously the amp I'm using doesn't have much in the way of tweakability because I'm using a 50 or 53, sorry, I said 59. So I could just set my tone and volume there. If I go onto an amp like a Marshall style amp, for instance, which has a lot more controls, and I just go into that, I can swipe and obviously there's a lot more options there of what I can tweak. So I'm actually gonna pick a twin reverb because that's an amp that I am quite familiar with the sound of. So let's just get a nice basic balance going here. The EQ is all pretty standard. I'm just gonna scoop those mids back a little bit. Got the reverb there from the amp as well. And the cab is a Fender 2x12. And that's mic'd with a 57 and an 87. So I'm gonna stick my ears in now and we'll hear how that sounds. So we should, even though we're getting the signal just from my phone, we should hear quite a nice emulation there of a twin reverb. that's a really nice platform to start with. So what we can then do is we can actually start adding some stomp boxes to it. So I do actually have a noise gate added that I added in error earlier, but it's not actually switched on. So I'm gonna swap that out now for something else. So I'm just gonna go with, let's go with something from the distortion range and we'll go with, let's just go with this overdrive because this looks like a, Typical three knob green overdrive. So let's see how this sounds. So that actually sounds pretty good. I really like the overdrive sounds in that one. I've not actually properly tested the mobile version of this yet. So this is quite a fun experiment for me as well. So we've got a lot of different drive pedals. Obviously we've got a huge range of stuff from quite subtle distortions right up to metal distortions like this. Now that is the cool thing with Amplitude is it can do really high gain as well. Now we don't just have drive pedals here. We've got things like fuzz. 
And we can also then branch out into different types of fuzz. So we've got one of my favorites, which is an Octavia style fuzz. octave down which is sort of like the mxr blue box that's a really fun sound now the cool thing is you can obviously access all your modulation things as well so we've got things like a phaser We've got chorus, we've got a flanger, we have an electric flanger, we have a surfer, which I'm guessing is probably some kind of tremolo, X chorus, we've got another phaser. There's so many things in here. I really like things like rotary sounds, so do we have anything in that vein? Let's have a look. I saw a uni vibe, which is the same sort of thing. Let's try the uni vibe. <laughs> You can also mix and match as well. So I can use the second slot. I've actually got up to four slots here. I can actually add an overdrive. And if I want to change the order of them, I just click and drag like so. So I can have my drive before my Univibe. Let's get a bit more gain. <laughs> So that's a pretty cool sound. Now, we do have other things available as well. So we've got delays, so you can get all your favorite different delay sounds. There's a huge range of stuff. Some of them are obviously very recognizable based on the visuals, like the T-Rex or the boss stuff. Let's check out the T-Rex replica. So you can hear that we can actually do that self-oscillating thing as well, which is really cool. I'm a big fan of self-oscillating delays. I love that analog delay thing. We've also got some compressors, some EQs, and we've also got some auto wild type pedals. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there's a ton of stuff in this you could actually use to have a lot of fun with. You've got some pitch things as well here, so some octavers. <laughs> So got let's see what morph is. So IK have even thrown in some of their weird things. So that's like a chaos pad kind of thing. That's pretty cool. If you're using something like the Digitech Whammy mode, this is something really cool IK have done. They have basically an on and an off switch. So you can obviously have the pedal off or on. When it's on, it just set, it just sort of presets the sound to the interval you've selected. So in this case, it's an octave up. But if you go to tilt mode, this is really clever. You can actually use your phone as an expression pedal. This wouldn't be much use for real time. So if you're trying to play along or record something, but if you want to do something fun, this is quite cool. So I can play a note, I can use my phone as the expression pedal. So that's a pretty fun little thing they've put in there. It's a nice little quirk. We've also got some useful sort of other pedals as well, like a swell for some cool effects, like some violin and effects, an acoustic sim. This could be quite useful if you're traveling around and you need an acoustic sound for whatever you're doing. So effects wise, there really is a ton of different things on here. Let's check out some of the amps we've got because obviously we can't dive through every single effect here. So I played through a Fender style amp. We've got things like a dual rectifier. also got a triple rectifier if you want some heavier tones. This obviously has a lot of different controls on it. So we've got two rows of knobs here with a lot of room to scroll between different things. And then we've also got some more classic amps like an orange AD200. Now that's obviously super clean because it's a bass amp, but then you can go to like an AD30 for instance and get a bit more crunch. And you can obviously dial all these into your own taste as well. There is really a ton of amps on here. Engel Powerball, fun for the high gain stuff. So even the high gain players aren't left out by this. We've obviously got your Marshall stuff for all those classic tones. The Slash Pack has some cool options because it's got Slash's JCM and a Silver Jubilee. So this would be great for some classic rock. And 
then obviously you can pair that with any of the effects as well for all your different tonal combinations. We've also got some, what have we got there? The Jimi Hendrix sets. We've got some Hendrix style tones. We've got some amp stuff from Ampeg. We've got a carving. This pretty much has all the same stuff as the full version of Amplitude, which is really cool. Even some of the more obscure stuff like the Jet City JCA 100. <laughs> Now, I think the Jet City stuff being included is really cool because I use a Jet City amp at home. I have the 20 watt JCA, and I think it's a fantastic amp. It's very underrated. It's a really useful sound. So as well as the Jet City being included, which I think is a nice touch, they've also included some of the signature sets from the artists as well. So you've got the Dimebag set, you've got the Brian May set, you've got the British collection there, which is like some marshall style amps. And we've got the Satriani collection as well. So there's even access to some of the newer ones because the Satriani pack only actually came out two years ago. Some of these things are gonna be add-ons. So some of these things you will need to purchase separately, but the mobile version will still come with a good core range of amps and effects and everything like that built in, ready to go. So let's quickly talk about the cabs we can use. So I'm just gonna go back to the Jet City there and then I'm gonna select the cab. So this is just defaulted to a four by 12 cab. Now you can see there's two different mics on the cab. Now what I can do is I can click on each individual mic and then I can decide what I wanna change it to. Once I've decided that I can then move the position. So this 57 here is pretty central. But if I click it, I can move it. And you can hear obviously that changes the tone and the same for this 87 on the other side. You can also move them forward and back by holding the bottom of the stand so you can get a bit more of a roomy sound as well. Obviously then you can change cab type, so we can have a Fender 1x15. Or we could go for something like an orange 4x12. There's a huge range of stuff in here. You can really scale this up and go from everything from a slash signature 4x12 right through to, let's see what else we've got. We've got a Dr. Z Z-Rec cab. So some more boutique stuff. And we even have a carving cabinet there. We've got the dime bag set. We've got the Brian May uh, AC30 set. There's a huge range of stuff in here. And then we've obviously got our mic cabinets. We've got the condenser mics. We've got the 84s, a dynamic 20, a 421, a 441. We've got a 57, all the usual mics you expect to see. Once you've gone through all of that and you've decided on your perfect amp, and cab and microphone combination and stomp boxes in the front as well. So you could obviously have your drive in the front. You can then add some post effects. So we could go into the loops there. We've got two slots in the loop where I could add things like a delay, a tape echo. Uh, I can also add a noise gate if I want to, a sustainer, a compressor. We've got a couple of different compressors on offer. We've got some EQs we can add in the loop. We can pretty much add most things back into the loop. Like an envelope filter I could add into the loop. Or I could swap that for something like a phaser. We 
we could add things like a swell into the loop. We can add something like a gate or even just a reverb. One thing that is really cool as well, if you're away from home and you want to jam, you can actually use some drum loops in this thing as well. So as well as having access to all your library of you know, pedals, effects, amps, uh, cabs, microphones, anything you want. You can come into the bottom toolbar here and you can click the drum icon. And we've got some pre sort of set drum tracks here. So we can set a tempo, we can set a style, or we can just run with some different grooves. So when we come into the drum tab, we can actually use some different grooves. So this is really useful if you just wanna jam along when you're away from home. So let's just select groove one. And what we can do is we can create a groove by using different loops. So I'm gonna put a fill, as my intro. So you do that, you, just, you hold down the intro, and drag it to where you want it to go. So fill, and then I want just the standard beat. Then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put that here and again. See, I can create a series of loops building up a drum track. So now I can jam along with that. So that's really useful as well, because obviously if you're away and you just wanna practice and jam along, that's super cool. We've also got a little tape recorder there that we can use to record ideas, which is great, and a looper as well. So there's a bunch of different tools in this that are super, super useful. And we've got a tuner, we've got a metronome. This thing is a fantastic addition to anyone's sort of travel practice rig. If you're away in a hotel or you just need to take a lot of guitar tones with you, but not need to take a big rig, Something like Amplitude Mobile and the iRig is a great combination. So I'm really, really surprised how good the Amplitude Mobile sounds because I've used the Amplitude desktop version countless times. And obviously I've done a big video on it. I've talked about it a lot. And I know that sounds good because it's a great piece of software. But not only that, you've actually got your computer processing it, which has got a lot of processing power. All the processing, and this is coming from my phone. So you'd expect that maybe there'd be some compromises but I don't think there is. The mobile version actually seems to handle the sounds just as well. Now, the only limitations are we can't have rigs that are as complicated as you can on the desktop. There are some limitations in terms of rig size. We can't have big, crazy stereo rigs. We can have four stop boxes, an amp, a cab, and two post effects. But the quality of those is fantastic. So I would definitely recommend checking out Amplitude Mobile. That's just a few quick tones there. Obviously, I'm away from home. I'm not in my studio. I'm in an apartment somewhere in the south of England. And there's a couple of tones I've just dialed in on the fly. This is the first time I've used this. I thought it'd be a really good excuse to get the Amplitude Mobile out with iRig and see what it could do. The iRig HD is a really cool piece of kit. So if you're looking for a small portable interface for your iOS device or your laptop, because you can connect it to your laptop with a USB cable as well, this is definitely worth checking out. It's completely powered off USB. So the power right now is just being drawn from my phone. But if you plug it into your laptop, that would draw the power from that as well. And obviously like I'm doing today, you can monitor it on headphones or in your monitors, or you could run the output to a guitar amp. So you could use this as like an interface for different effects. So if you didn't have any pedals for a gig, you could use your phone to add overdrive to the sound, or you could use it straight into a PA system if you really wanted to, or you could use the headphone out to run a pair of speakers as well. So there's a ton of different options of what you can do with this thing, both home and away from home as well. So there you go. That's how easy it is to dial in a great sound without actually having any gear around. I've literally just got my iPhone, my IK Multimedia, iRig HD, my guitar, and a couple of cables. The only additional thing I've got is my SD card recorder, which isn't actually an important part of this. That is only there to record the output of the iRig. So really, all you need is the phone and the iRig and a guitar, and you can literally get great tones anywhere. 
Let me know what you guys think of that. And if you want me to do a deep dive into the IK Multimedia Amplitude mobile app and look at all the models in more depth, like I did with the desktop plugin, let me know down below as well. I'd love to hear what you guys think of that. And if that's something you're interested in seeing, I would love to make that video for you. But like I said, go check out the iRig HD. That is a fantastic interface. It's great for both your phone and your laptop use as well. While you're down there, let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching.